Hi guys, this is Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel, and you are watching the Spectrum AR636 programming series. This is part 8, exporting and saving your model files. Alright, so in order for us to either add the uh, save capabilities to this particular receiver, or even to share this, uh, this model file, if we wanted to share it and send it to one of our friends, or save it uh, for... Uh, you know, for posterity purposes, I guess, you know, if we want to save it in the event that we're going to be, uh, uh, you know, rebuilding our computer, we need to move, um, you know, the, uh, the Spectrum Programmer software over to another computer, we're getting rid of a computer or whatever the case may be. You know, so say we want to save our, our work, and we're going to need to export the model file. In order to do that, we uh, and right now we're still we're in the uh, spectrum programmer software we want to be on models and again we're working with the model that is uh, in bold so what we want to do here is over on the right hand side we've got a uh, a more button it's a drop down list and that's going to allow us to either export duplicate or reset which takes everything back to the default values now what we want to do is hit the export button and exporting allows us to basically save that file. So uh, what we want to do is go to a folder that you're going to remember. So I have this set up in my documents folder under another folder called Spectrum and AR636 and exported models. We're going to go ahead and export this and call the file Recomroy Old Crow P51 with safe dot SRM. SRM is the extension for Spectrum models uh, that have been programmed using the, uh, the Spectrum programmer. So we're going to go ahead and save that, and that's all there is to exporting the models. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next part which is bringing the model into our safe model builder. So that's all there is to saving and exporting your model files in the Spectrum Programmer software. Stay tuned for part nine, where we'll go over how to use the safe model builder.